this is James from Gamefront, and we're taking a look at the West Hall now, which I'm not exactly sure what's in there. I have not stepped in, but we are about to arrive. I'm trying to get better at shooting above my head because uh, I wasn't getting very good camera angles in the last one. So I haven't checked any comments. It says that it's going to take 500 minutes to upload my previous video, so it's going to take a bit. Uh, I'm going to have to swing this down as I go through security really quick. And here we are. I should be able to find Mitch at the Smash Brothers thing, but I'm going to do a quick walk around fast. Uh, I'm not sure what this one here is. I'm going to shorten my stick. There we go. That seems a little safer for public. So what do we got here? What is this location? Oh, Razor. These guys make mouses and keyboards and stuff for, for really talented gamers. Uh, I wouldn't notice a difference when I play because because I'm so innately perfect as it is, I don't need the help of some sort of extra peripheral. And we have Perfect World. Oh, Perfect World, I believe, is an MMO. I got excited for a moment because I didn't know what it was, and now, now my excitement has lost. Oh, Dawn of the Immortals. Cool. We're going to continue around the outside. We're going to continue around the outside. Great. So, we got War Thunder. There's a lot of stuff over here I'm not familiar with. But this is on PS4. Let's take a quick look. This is interesting. Ah, uh, very cool. It's, uh, apparently they have Alienware and PS4. It's interesting. I don't know if any anybody out there is looking forward to War Thunder or not. I haven't heard of it. Not that that doesn't mean it's good. There's lots of things I haven't heard of. I would mention them out loud, but I haven't heard of them yet. Uh, and over here, it's there's a food area. Lots of people sitting and eating. We're going to move over to Farming Simulator 15. When you thought 14 was the final one, boy, were you wrong. We've got another farming simulator, and we found the beef. That's where it is. Awesome. Taking more of a look around. We got Focus with uh, Space Hulk, Deathwing. This is interesting. I don't know what Focus Interactive does. Let's swing this around so you can see some gameplay footage. Looks like a standard first-person shooter. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's not that standard. It's hard to tell. It is hard to tell. What is it? It's an on-rail shooter, so it's kind of like those old guns, gun games that you played at the arcades. Awesome. And we turned the PlayStation 4 controller into a light gun using the gyroscope. Oh, I'm going to have to take a look at his hands with this controller. They're using the PlayStation 4 controller as a gun, which is nice. That way you don't have to... Oh, I guess he just moves it. He moves it to aim. He's using the, the touchpad for... Not sure what for. Maybe reloading? I'm not sure. Let's just keep moving. Got Game Loft. That's cool. Game Loft, great. Just keep on moving through. Keep on moving through. I'm sure there's a lot of really cool stuff on the other side, because typically the... And not that AAA things are cooler, but they're just more known, and there's some sort of comfortability with me when I know something. Here's a cool toy section. They always have toys out for display and purchase when you come to E3. I don't know exactly who's buying this stuff, though. I don't usually come to E3 to purchase toys. I do it for, you know... <gasps> oh, my God! Oh, my God! Here's the Omni. This is what will help. I don't know if it will be integrated with something like Morpheus, but uh, the Oculus Rift works with it. So let's just take a quick look at what uh, is happening here. So you'll notice that his feet are on a non-slip surface, and apparently they're using special shoes as well. It's pretty interesting. I'd like to see somebody in action playing a game, but 
You can't always get, oh, well, we can look at the screen of the display right there. Awesome. It's one of those things you kind of got to do in order to, to have a good idea of what it's like. I'm going to see if I can get into that before E3 is over. Oh, what is this here? Is this Oculus Rift in there? I think it is. Let me just extend this camera out for a moment. I hope you got a better look than I did because it seems like it's all secret. It's all secret. And here's an anime-ish style game. I'm not, I'm also, I'm just constantly going to say I'm not familiar with stuff, but look what's behind me. Do you know what that is? Me neither. Kind of reminds me of some sort of Dynasty Warriors type thing. That's an, probably an ignorant way of looking at things. And this is Oculus. I wonder if that line we see behind me is just people trying to try out the Oculus for three years now. Might, maybe two. The Oculus has been here with extraordinarily long lines. It's one of the few that I'm willing to wait for, but I just didn't have time last year. This year, I'm making some time. I, I did get to check it out at this uh, YouTube event that was in Los Angeles, but I only got to play one game, and I'd really like to try all different kinds of games. All different kinds of games. So we've taken a turn. Maybe I shouldn't have. Let's make sure we keep going all the way around. I almost skipped out on a corner. <gasps> You know what it is, is this is the Nintendo booth where we will probably find Mitch. I'm sure you all want to see some more Mitch. There's a VIP area. We're going to go right into the Nintendo stuff right now with no more waiting about it. Or is it Nintendo? I think that I see PlayStation ahead of me, so some of this is Nintendo and some of it isn't. Cool. There's a panel behind me. I don't know exactly what they're talking about. Cool. And what do we got here? What do we have here? I'm not sure what games those are. Oh, it's Splatoon. It's Splatoon. I guess these are the ones that we heard about today at the, uh, the Nintendo press conference with the squids playing paintball of sorts. And Bayonetta 2 is still at E3. I can't believe that we haven't gotten a chance to purchase this game yet. You'd think it would be out by now. And this is the 30th anniversary of Tetris, and it looks like Just Dance is doing something for Tetris on it. I'm going to keep moving through. I'm going to keep moving through. Oh, excuse me, everybody. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hyrule Warriors. It's like the Dynasty Warriors of Zelda. Let's take a quick look. Interesting. I'm gonna keep moving. Super Smash Brothers for for 3DS or Wii U? This can't be that. Is this? Oh, I guess it is. It doesn't look like Super Smash Brothers to me, but I'm... Smash Run! Oh, cool. Awesome. I'm going to swing this around my back so you can see what she's talking about. I don't even know if you could hear her. She said it's Smash Run. Super Smash Run or something. It looks much more level-based than I remember Smash Brothers being but I'm not nearly as much an expert on Smash Brothers as Mitch was. I'm going to keep moving. Again, if there's games I'm going to... Whoa! My hands are getting sweaty. Maybe I need to bring gloves, like leather gloves. If there's anything that I've gone too quickly past, just give me a heads up, and I'll take time uh, next time I'm here to get a better look at it. Now, here's what we really want to see. This is some Smash Brothers Wii U right here. I'm going to bring this up over my head. So, I don't know exactly what we're looking at. I think you have a better angle than I do. 
because there's too many people in the way. But that, this is much more what I remember Smash Brothers being like, but obviously it looks way cooler. This is only going to be another minute and 30, or like less than that, so I'm going to, I'm going to wait it out and see who wins this battle. You know what I mean? I don't even know. Uh, are we uh, are we allowed to film? No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, awesome! I I will have a moment as soon as this match is over. I'm gonna stop uh, recording this. I don't know what. Uh, I thought I was getting in trouble for a moment. Somebody was giving me that eye of I need to talk to you, and I guess they did. Cool. I'm gonna try getting a, maybe maybe a slightly better angle. Let's see if I can do this for the last bit. All right. I hope that some of this is showing up on camera. It looks pretty cool to me. I wish I had a better view. You gotta wait in line to play a game like this. It always surprises me how hard it is to hold a camera still. It's not that heavy, but the longer you hold it, the worse it is. It starts getting shaky in your arms. Cool. Eight seconds left. We're going to find out who the OP character is. All decided on this one battle. Who wins? They're always the winner. Sudden death. Okay. Well, there's only two people left. Pikachu and Samus? Samus? Oh, that's embarrassing. I really don't know. There it is. There it is. All right, hold on. Hi, I'm James. Sorry, I'm a little sweaty. No worries. Um, so, I've got a company yeah? that we've made an industry first product. It is the console wall mounts. Console wall mounts? Cool. And so we're hoping to see if you would be uh, willing to interview us or, 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 or um, talk about our product. Do you mind if I come back uh, a little bit later? Sure. So, where's your booth at? Which hall? We don't have a booth. We don't have a booth. We have the parks with us. Great. Well, we're happy to give them to you. You can review the products. We can sit down with you and talk about our products. Cool. Well, I'm trying to do a quick walkthrough yeah. of the south, uh, the West Hall right now, but I'll, I'll seek you out and give you a heads up later. Cool. cool? My contact information is on that. Great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. That's, that is, uh, I cannot fault him. That's exactly what he's here to do. And there have been years where that's what I was doing. Um, but right now, my goal is really to take a look and give you guys an inside look on E3. I'm sorry, I wasn't holding the microphone next to myself. I'm going to have to reset this camera. I got a little nervous there. I didn't know what that guy wanted from me. Here we go. A little bit better. Keeping it up above my head a little bit. It's We're about to enter a crowded area. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, we got a much bigger screen over here of Smash Brothers. Maybe this is where I should have been showing. That's the menu screen or the controls if you're using the GameCube controller. We'll come back. If you want to see more, I'll come back for it. It sounds like this area is really dedicated to Smash Brothers. I'm surprised I didn't run into Mitch yet. Keep moving. Keep moving. Um, I was walking straight through and I see the PlayStation area, so that's where I'm going to head to now. That is where I'm going to head to now. And we're almost there. Wow, Nintendo has really put a dime or two into the Smash Brothers displayed here. Almost their entire booth is dedicated to it. It's pretty cool. All right. And here is the PlayStation area. I'm, let's see if I can get the sign in there. I'm sure you can see it a little bit at least. Let's see what they got showing. At the front here, they've got a bunch of PSB this stuff. Ooh, Rogue Legacy, home. Lots of cool things for this. There's home, if you can see it. Awesome. Race the Sun is coming to the PS Vita? Awesome. But we're going to keep moving. Uh, the PS Vita stuff is going to be way too difficult for me to show you. If you really want to see it, I'll give a better effort. But I think we'll both agree that it's probably a waste of my time. 
And here we are in the Sony PlayStation booth uh, with PS3, PS4. It's cool. We got Nidhogg being played on the play PS4. I would show it, but you've already seen Nidhogg. We've played plenty of it. Oh, it looks like Garden Warfare is coming to the PS4. Here's the crew. It looks decent. Looks, looks good. Awesome. It's looking great. What do we got over here? Jamestown Plus. Uh, I haven't actually played this game. Let's spin around and take a look here. I think this is a... I think that this might be a um, a Steam game that I've seen other people play, unless I'm thinking of a different thing. Samurai Warrior 4. Awesome. Oh my gosh, this game looks really cool. This is the kind of style game I'm usually wanting to play. What? I don't even know how to pronounce that. Apothium? That looks awesome. Kind of reminds me of, uh, I don't know why, but Nidhogg. I don't want to watch that screen. They stopped. Cool. Cool. Nice. All right, I'm going to head a little bit further. Let's see what we got over here. Uh-oh. It's a train of electronic equipment. Source. I haven't heard this one either. My gut is that a lot of these are going to be considered indie games. I haven't talked to anybody that's working in the booth, so I don't know, but I've never heard of Source before. Alright. Planet Side 2. Planet Side 2 is next to me. Never played Planet Side 2. And I don't think this guy has either. I'll come back to him when I think he's possible. Oh, here we go. Come on, give me some action. Give me some action. I wouldn't mind seeing a kill. Even if it is a team kill. Come on, give it to me. Give me a team kill. Is there blood? Is there not blood? I guess I have played Planet Side 2. I don't remember it, but that's what Mitch said. Mitch said I played it, so I have to trust him. Well, here we go. This is Valiant Hearts. I've been looking forward to this ever since I saw it in the press conference yesterday. That looks awesome. I like the art style. I bet that guy wishes he could aim a little further up. And we got Project Cars. Wow, that actually looks fantastic. I like car games. But I'm much more into the burnout style than I am in the realistic physics games. I feel like those come across as slow, when I'm sure that they're not. It's just realistic. Ooh, Minecraft PlayStation 4 version. I'm not going to poo-poo on it, but if they can't hook up to the actual Minecraft server that ha we have at Gamefront, then... Then I think it's kind of a waste. Oh, Alien Isolation! And UFC. Let's just swing this around for some Alien Isolation. This looks really cool to me. I love the idea of one monster, but it doesn't seem like they're the only ones working on that. Uh, I played that indie game Monstrum the other day. Obviously, it had a lot of work to be done. Challenge failed. Well, that was just a little peek at that. Let's keep moving. Nice. I see PlayStation Now over there. Oh, I'm going to try to squeeze through this area. This video is already going a little too long. Oh, Chasm or Chasm? This looks kind of cool. It 
Let's see what happens when he gets against this bad guy, or maybe he just jumps past him. Awesome. Ooh, the last tinker. I love colorful games. They're fun. Just keep moving. I gotta be honest, I've gotten a little lost on this walkthrough. Not sure what we've seen and what we haven't. Well, The Walking Dead. It's a GoPro camera. It's nice and easy to sneak around. I got it from Best Buy. Not that I'm advertising for anything. Sorry. I only got it there because if I break it and I skateboard with it, you know, I just want somewhere where I can walk right in the door and say, Give me a new one! Ah, oh, Kingdom Hearts. I never played any Kingdom Hearts games. That's PS3. No offense against it, but it, to me it kind of feels like old news. Old news! Moving through, moving through. Helldivers. Haven't heard of this one. This looks cool. Oh, uh, well. I would have used a different strategy. Oh, no, that's him. Cool. I just want to see what the action looks like. Well, these guys got a lot of action going on. Let's go look at these screens. Cool. Well, that wasn't as long as I wanted it to be. Oh, and Bloodborne's back here. Far Cry 4, Bloodborne back there. Of course they don't want me to be able to look inside of Bloodborne. Oh well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? And here's Little Big Planet 3. I'm very excited for that. See if we can't get any visuals on that. I hope I'm doing better with the camera. I'm trying. You know, trial and error. Trial and error. Oh my gosh, look at these guys. These are the grumpiest looking cute things I've ever seen. Oh, cool, and here's just a whole bunch of indie games. Looks like we're going to be able to get Binding of Isaac. I see Nuclear Throne. Let's just swing this in here. New and Tasty. It's an Odd World game. Looks pretty cool. I'm just going to try to cut through. I'll wait for gameplay to start on that. Road Not Taken. That's interesting. I haven't seen that. What was it? No cameras? Oh, what's up? How are you? Matt? Uh, I've got my hands full, but and they're sweaty. I do, Phil Munchaw from Gamefront. Cool, awesome. What uh, what are you working on today? Road not taken. Road not taken? I was just looking at that. What's the style of this game? It's like a it's a match three, like it's kinda like in the vein of um Don't Starve Me with puzzles, basically. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like the art style a lot. It's like a whimsical, like kind of friendly art style. And I mean, basically, what's going on here is like you play as a ranger, and um, you uh, you have to. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not. I shouldn't be talking. I'm not a PR guy. I it's all right. I mean, I'm not. No judgment. I'm just swinging cameras around. This is not like an official camera. This is kind of our behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, I mean, basically, it's just like you got to help. Uh, mothers find their kids who got lost in the, wilder in the wilderness. That's that's the vibe, basically. So it's an emotional tale. Um, you got to overcome uh, puzzles, obstacles, animals, some ghosts. You know what I mean? It's just it looks like a it's an unforgiving forest. You know what I mean? Like looks can be deceiving. 
Yeah, it looks cute, but unforgiving. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time. Nuclear Throne. I don't know if I have this game or not on Steam. I feel like I might. I have a lot of games I've bought through the Humble Bundle that I've never gotten a chance to play. I just love the minimalistic graphics, if that's what this is considered, just retro style. And, of course, Binding of Isaac, which looks just like uh, you'd expect Binding of Isaac to look. Cool. Oh, there isn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Oh, well, there's camera a lot of some stuff, just not that. Uh, great. So, we're just going to keep walking. And, oh, don't want to cut. <gasps> Sack boy! You all recognize him, right? Cool. Let's just see if now, now at this point in time I've got to start looking for Mitch because this video is going on a little longer than I had anticipated it to. But it's fun. It's fun. I don't think I've actually gotten a chance to look at everything though. There's so many people and so many things to distract me. I'm not very good at maintaining my focus. Oh, this is cool. The playroom. That's the TV screen. And you'll notice that it's showing these guys. I'm going to check that out when I have time to actually sit down and play it because I don't think it just, it doesn't do justice just showing other people. I want to be in it. Alright, so we're going to try to make way this direction. Oh cool, what is this guy? Awesome. Yeah! Dang, that thing looks dangerous. All right, just walking through. I'm going to wrap this up. <gasps> oh, my gosh. We haven't even seen the Microsoft booth. Oh, this is going to be a longer video than I had anticipated. It is going to be a longer video than I anticipated. But this is a pretty big floor. I'm going to have to probably edit this one at home. We've been using the hotel room to edit some stuff, but it just doesn't work very well. we got Forza Horizon 2. That looks pretty cool. I'm not sure. Forza looks great, but from what I've seen of Grid, I don't know what that the name of that Grid game is. That that game looks like it might be the superior racing game of this season. It's not a done deal yet. Everybody's still got work to do on their stuff. Oh, music's loud here. I hope you can still hear me. Fru? Have you heard of Fru? I haven't heard of this one. Looks like it might be a Kinect title. I only say that because that connect is like, play oh, and I see a body on screen. What is this? Well, we're going to continue looking at that stuff. I mean, that looks like a game I definitely want to check out as well. A lot of cool things. We've got Project Spark, which we saw last year. Uh... The, we got to see a pretty cool presentation of it last year. Stuff looks cool. This is something that you can make on Project Spark, I believe. I heard maybe it's Kronk is going to be in Project Spark? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What is this area? Mitch was talking about this. I haven't seen this game yet. I don't even know what it's called. Cool. Hold on. I'm trying to close this. Get this closer to me. Oh well. Alright, just keep moving. We'll fix it later. Later. I don't even know what this is. This is like some sort of a, whoa, it's ghosting me. Nice, I don't know what that's displaying. Oh, cool, Borderlands sequel right here. I'm sorry, prequel. That looks nice. Looks a lot like Borderlands. Surprise, surprise. 
And then what is this, Aramek? I haven't heard of Aramek. Like the style, though. Awesome. Awesome. Let's just peek around this corner, see if there's anything else going on. Fibbage. Looks like it might be some sort of a... Might be some sort of a trivia game. And then we got Street Fighter. Oh, there's Grid. Castle Storm. Lifeless Planet. Oh, that looks awesome. I, you know, I'm just doing a quick walk-by of everything right now, but I'm going to be back to play everything later. I will. World of Tanks on Xbox One. Or is that just that's 360? That's 360 edition. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Phoenix Rage. I haven't heard of that one either. Looks like a hedgehog of sorts. I do want to play. They're, they're asking if anybody wants to play. I do. I've just got a job to do right now. Drifter behind me. That looks cool. And this looks interesting as well. Night Squad. Awesome. Well, this is the game we were looking at over there. Aztez. Nito Bedito. And White Knight. Cool. I think I'm going to have to end this video pretty soon. We've been going a little too long. Ori. Oh, gosh. This game looked really cute when we saw it on the press conference. I'm looking really forward to that one. I do think Xbox has uh, pulled ahead much further than I thought they would. Uh, I don't really have a preferential machine unless you're talking about a PC. But, uh, but the Xbox is doing a lot better than last year. I was pretty disappointed in them last year. And let's see. Alien Isolation we saw already. Fable Legends. I guess I'll show you. This, this is just a screen here. Oh. I think this is Fable Ledge. Oh, some sort of an interview video. And let's see. Uh oh, uh oh. Super Dead Rising. That looks awesome. For some reason, this kind of reminds me of Borderlands. I don't know why. I have no idea why. You guys probably think I'm crazy. Fable Legends is like black screen right now, so we can't really see it. I think they're starting it up soon. Oh, and Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive was probably the most interesting looking game I saw. And there's a big screen of it, so let's just end with us taking a look at Overdrive. That looks pretty sweet. Oh, and they're giving away energy drinks. I could sure use one of those. Or a nap, either way. Cool. That guy's wearing a crazy outfit down there. I don't know if you can see him. But I know what you're interested in is the footage of the game. Nice. Sorry, I know it's wobbly, but I've lifted it up above everybody's head so that nothing's blocked. I prefer if mutants have red blood. I don't know why. Wow. This game looks really entertaining. But we're going to have to stop. Again, you tell me what you want to see more of, and we will show more of it. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.